Hey guys, today we will be doing a really cool video that I never done before. Today we will be doing an exposing my classmates video. I'm so exited. These are the people we will expose. Three. They will be called E and F for private reasons. They are both twins and I think they have autism. I have nothing against autistic people. It's just they were kind of weird and mean. Okay, enough of that. Let's introduce my pookies. The one who is closest to me will be called JJ, the middle one will be called S, and the last one will be called A. Together, this is our friend group, Aka, the best people I know. Well, enough of me yapping. Let's change to my Ireland self. Okay, let's start with some regular stories and head to the really juicy ones. Okay, so me, A, S, and JJ were in this area called the quiet area, and it's a place in the playground where you can chill and play. This is where we chat and draw. But one day or like almost every day, we see F come into the area and walk in or act like she thinks she's the main character. Girly, you're not. We laugh so hard that I think the kids from the other side of the playground could hear us wheezing. Okay, so another story related to the last one is that in class at the time we were in year five, we saw the wannabe Barbie walk in class and did this. <laughs> She actually giggles and sounds like she would be in some movie or anime like Girl Please. But it was really funny and we talked about it in break. Okay, the next story is a good one, so stay until the end. So basically, this was also in year five. The whole class got to stay two days at this place called Kill Court or Simp. Well, one night we were playing bingo and I was partners with someone, but I will just use a BC. I'm lazy. JJ was next to me and was partners with E. Now this is where it gets sad and juicy. This toad actually scribbles all over their bingo sheet, and if you didn't know, JJ is very sensitive. Then she crumpled the paper and threw it at her like that is so not cool. Then JJ started to cry, and he laughed like the horse she is like, seriously. Um, insert name look behind you. I was blazing mad. Like, JJ was my friend since year one, and seeing her upset made me really mad, so I started telling her to stop or I will tell the teacher. Hey, E, stop laughing and apologize or I will tell on you for bullying. Then for the entire time, we were telling her to stop, but she like didn't care. Then she just rolled her eyes. It was so annoying, but eventually she got told off really bad and had to apologize. Ha ha. Okay, so sometimes F would spy on me and JJ, which was super weird, and I think he was there too whispering something to F. Yay, so it was kind of a problem, and then we rarely see Evie pop up next to us. By the way, they love to stalk us for some reason, so we see them everywhere. It's super annoying. Um, maybe like none of your bi- So the next story is mainly around F, and this was in PE. D, we were in groups and me. JJ and the twins were in a group cause we couldn't pick, and oh yay. A dude we will call in as part of this, and one more thing is F has a fat crush on N and every other boy Evan, though they are crusty as fuck. But then all of a sudden she does this, she didn't, but I would imagine. Girl, what the actual fuck? Yay, so this was also a year ago, and we were competing in a dance show, and one of the poses we had to do was a sofa, and me, E, JJ, and N were the sofa, and F was the one sitting on it. But N was the bit where you sit on, so it was very awkward. Okay, last story. Cause my storage is dead. So basically, there was a drama going on where N would find love notes and plastic rings in his drawer. The handwriting was impossible to read, so everyone knew it was F. This would also happen to his friend T. I was super confused at first, but when it told me I was bursting like it was so funny. Then F was chasing N around to try kiss him. It was so funny. Anyways, that it. Sorry for not posting. I'm just really busy. Part two coming soon in a week. I promise you guys. Bye my stars.